hello welcome to everyone in this video this is our lecture in which want to discuss about the question which asked in calcutta university physics honors that is on quantum mechanics cc10 paper which asked in in the year 2023 so at first you look at the question paper this is question number one then question number two question number three four five question number six and seven I request all of you at first try to solve this question after that continue this video to watch the solution of this question right so let's start first question says plot the normalized wave function for the ground state psi 0 and the first exercise psi 1 of the quantum linear harmonic oscillator this is the ground state of quantum linear harmonic oscillator and just put this value and this is the um, at t equal to 0 this will give you 1 and first excited test uh, excited state will be like that so its plot will be this one for ground state and this is for first excited state next what is the significance of zero point energy of quantum linear harmonic oscillator this is the energy of nth order so mm, uh, for, for, for mm, zero point energy if you put n equals to 0 this is not equal to 0 this is called zero point energy that is the lowest energy so it's indicate that the atom can never be raised the molecule must vibrate according to Huygens principle this is greater than zero so this this minimum energy not equals to zero so this satisfy Huygens principle next question why the energy eigenfunction of one dimension harmonic oscillator with potential proportional to xr either even or odd under priority so this is the wave function and this is the harmonic polynomial this can be even or odd for n is even and n is odd and this is even priorities finally this will be even or odd depending upon n is even or odd right so this is even or odd parity next question compute wave function hydrogen like is given as this determine eigenvalue of lz and third component so if you put this del del phi of this one will be get this one. so this is the eigenvalue 2 h plus next calculate land energy factor of 2 p3 of hydrogen atom so here you can see l is 1 that is p uh, and 2 s plus 1 is 2 so s is half and j is 3 by 2 from this notation so land energy factor put this value you will be get 4 by 3 next question using vector atom model find the possible value of total angular momentum when l equal to 3 s equal to 3 by 2 l equal to 3 s equal to 3 by 2 means j equal to l minus s to l plus s so just uh, a 3 minus 2 so 3 by 2 to 9 by 2 putting the value with the gap 1 hence the possible value of total angular momentum 3 by 2 5 by 2 7 by 2 9 by 2 next question find the term symbol of the ground state of the fluorine that is z equals to 9 z equals to 9 means this is the contribution and this is l equal to 1 0 1 this is the comes through so total l is this s is 1 j is like this and this gives you more than half field so j will be maximum that is 3 by 2 and 2s plus 1 is 2 so term symbol is like that 2s plus 1 l j l is 1 so this will be p and j next Next, a particle infinite square of L as a function of equal mixture of stationary S1 and S2, uh, Sn is, is sorry, psi1 and psi2, and psi n is like that. Yes, normalized psi x0. So, normalized psi x0, this will be 1 multiplied, will be this one, and then integrating finally up, uh, you obtain the value of A will be like that. So, the normalized function will be like that. Find psi xt and psi xt mod square psi xt. Just put this value uh, psi 1 exponential this and that one. So, after that, uh, you just squaring that is psi star psi uh, and calculating this expression. Finally, you obtain this expression. Okay, so I think you can do this calculation. I just uh, give you the uh, rough idea or root map to solve this question. Okay. Next compute uh, mod x and angular frequency and angular. So mod x, 
expectation value of x is like the site uh, x i so just taking this uh, products and you can see here all are the odd functions in all are the odd function and limit is minus infinity plus infinity so this must be equals to zero this must be equals to zero next question frequency oscillator the energy level of the linear harmony oscillator is the corresponding <laughs> frequency will be like that amplitude is a maximum displacement and i didn't know why uh, this sudden question on expected value of h next consider a particle with energy excited of 1d uh, quantum harmonic oscillator is this total energy of harmonic oscillator equally distributed among the kinetic and potential energy from this consideration is the uh, average energy of this the average energy will be total energy is this one <laughs> So average energy will be half of this one because they are distributed equally. Actually, there is each cross curve. So uh, just taking this one and you will be get this expectation value. So finally, you will be get uh, more expectation value of x square h cross square by two. Using the symmetry property, put this value as this factor psi are the symmetry. So these are the even parity and this is odd parity so as a whole this will be odd parity and finally this will be zero because this function is odd odd function next uh, from this expression value more uh, expression value of x and expression value of x square find delta x delta x is this one so this will be h plus by 2 and from the uncertainty principle obtain delta p from uncertainty principle delta x delta p is h plus by 2 so delta p equals to 1 by 2 for a quantum For a quantum linear oscillator, psi 0 and psi 1 is the ground state and first excited state. So that psi 0 and psi 2 are after 1 and then 1. So this is the expression of psi 0 and this is psi 1. So if you product, this case is 0 because this is odd function. Okay. Since this is 0, so this will be orthogonal. Psi 0 and psi 1. Minus infinity plus infinity, so finally we obtain this expression. So I cannot match the re result given. Question. The ground state of wave function of hydrogen is like that. Plot the radial probability of this one. So if you take the probability psi to psi for pi r square meter, we obtain this expression, and this will be maximum at r equals to zero. So the plot will be like. Calculate the probability of the finding the electron within a sphere centered at the nucleus of this. So, the total probability finding at the center will be like that. If you calculating, you will be obtained this expression. Expression value of 1 by r square will be obtained this 2 by n of square. Find this ex, uh, commutative taking L, Lx, just put this value as a. and taking the partial derivative obtain this expression and in case of pz put this value and finally obtain this one and this is the question that i cannot solve at the moment if i can do this i will give you this answer in code if you uh, if anyone can do this solve this question you must comment in the code okay uh, next question calculate the energy factor of these two uh, this to label hence estimate the energy splitting uh, for the magnetic field one tesla then many uh, spectra how many spectral line arise in the anomalous given spectrum so you can see there is 2s plus 1 is 3 that is s equal to 1 and j equals 1 and l equals to 0 because this is s similarly for that one s equals to 1 l equals to 1 j equals to 1 so you can easily find out the land g factor using this formula this is 2 this is 3 by 2 from this value you can see this can be separated uh, minus 1 to 1 minus 1 to 1 gm is like that so corresponding energy uh, will be this one so this is the splitting this is the splitting hence total splitting will be 7 vector line consider two electron of spin l1 and l2 what are the possible angular momentum like that so 
total l is l1 minus l2 so this will 1 2 3 and s is b 0 1 so if you considering 0 and l 1 2 3 s 1 l 1 2 3 will be obtain these terms okay next one is space quantization space quantization means the value that is the angular momentum quantum or uh, orbital or spin uh, angular momentum is the uni uh, is, uh, is specific direction is some specific direction not in all directions so this is the quantized that is its direction will be specified not in all direction so this is the uh, space quantization and in the external experiment you can uh, examine this special division due to the spin okay so that the anti-symmetry wave function of two particles neutrally uh, naturally follow for the explanation principle that is anti-symmetry wave function can be taken as and if you consider n1 equals 10 to those two this will be zero so this is impossible that a particle cannot be same state so this is known as quasi explicit principle next state Hun's rule you know the distribution of the electron is such that the s will be highest l will be highest for the lowest energy and j will be lowest for less than half field and greater than for greater than half field this will be highest so this is the whole rule. so with this question i solve the a question which asked in 2023 so this is all about me this is my contact detail this is my youtube channel so take care we'll meet you in the next video as soon as possible thank you